Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA, and home to the Commodores of Vanderbilt, who hope today they will hit all of the right notes. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on another SEC rival, the Vanderbilt Commodores. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Commodores will kick it away to start us off. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Alabama's offense will get the first possession of the game. And these guys involve everybody in the passing game and none more prominent than this big fella. And the quarterback knows he's going to be under duress in this game. So who do you look for? The tight end. And there aren't many better than this guy. No, and just big bodies that you can miss a little bit high and it really doesn't matter. But over the middle of the field, closer throws, so nice to have a security blanket with a great tight end. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TF out. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Trying to impose their will with the run. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. So already they've hit a speed bump on this opening drive. It's third and eight. Back to throw. It's Milro. Still looking on the move. He's going to run it. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Alabama comes to the line with first and ten. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Just when they're looking run now up top. Caught near the sticks. It's Bernard. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Catch in the middle. It's Prentice. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. And offensively, I love running these drag routes. I mean, these are the routes that, whether it's zone, whether it's man, they're so successful. It's just about seeing what the defense is doing and getting it to them in open space. Nice job. The wide receiver has some space after the catch, able to go make extra yards. Nice pitch and catch. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. A cornerstone of the Alabama program really throughout history has been be physical, establish a running game. Yeah, great running backs. I mean, not only are you recruiting great players in the offensive line and skill and all over the place, but so many great backs that you can name off the top of your head that played at Alabama, that ran it with an edge, that ran it physical, that always represented that style. And you can see Alabama, they're always going to do this. They're going to establish the run. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. To throw, it's Milro. Fires to the big fella. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. 
it's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're blitzing, you're expecting to get a sack. You're expecting to get a hit on the quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh, because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends, and you know you're in trouble. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. Sweet cut there. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Plus the pass. Fires toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Well, it looked like that might be the first touchdown of the game, but what a great job by the defender, seeing the football and swatting it away. This offense has a second down play. They'll give it to the back. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Well, the defense may have been caught off guard a little bit on that play. It was second and long. They weren't expecting the run. So now we've got third and manageable, and they've got to be wondering to themselves, is this offense going to try to run the ball again here? They're about to get through their entire opening script of plays. This is the 11th play of the drive. Third down coming up. Pulls it in. It's long. Tight windows. No problem to grab the tackle, and it's first down in the red zone at the 10. Let's see how they set the tone on first and ten. The give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So you get stuck on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or... What is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive, okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. Got enough space. And they finally ride him down at the one-yard line. I love the jet sweep early in the game. Take the nerves out. Hand the football to somebody who's really fast. There's a really good chance you're going to get positive yards around the outside like you did right there. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Alabama! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Vanderbilt Commodores offense has the ball for the first time. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. I mean, it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are really revolutionizing defenses. They hit people, too. They are heat-seeking missiles. Nobody wants to run over the middle of the field against these guys. You know, the short passing game is a great go-to weapon for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, obviously, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play you. So for coordinators, this can really open up the rest of your playbook for the rest of the game. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll try the run. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. 
Might as well give it to him again. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back. It's Pavia. Snags it over the middle. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. Yeah, when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. The Commodores look to keep this drive humming. Power football with the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. He's looking for an open man on second down. Quickly complete. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight. To the ground with the back. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Eighth play of the drive coming. It'll be a third and six. To the air. It's Pavia. Immediately fires to the middle. Across the 25. He's got room. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. And the Commodores are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TV. You got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. He'll try to tack on one more. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. So it's an 80-yard drive, and the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away he can get. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes that Alabama offense. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Really nice run there. Now, listen, you know, modern-day college football, I know it's all about spread offense and throwing the football and going up tempo and scoring quickly, but 
Man, you think back to Bear Bryant in Alabama, doesn't it always seem like they've always wanted to establish the run game? They have always wanted to be physical. Bear Bryant would have loved this guy in his backfield. With his physical style of running, man, he fits that just perfect. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To the air. It's Milrow. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Really nice play getting that first down. And listen, I know when a lot of people think about the Crimson Tide recently, they think about the success they've had at the quarterback position. A big reason why, though, those guys have been playing so well, they're throwing the NFL talent all over the field. And this dude right here, he could be the next first-round pick at the wide receiver position from Ben. Got a man. It's Prentice. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. They'll go with a direct snap. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. The Crimson Tide comes to the line with the first and ten. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping him up, getting him on the ground. Take away that run game. Make him one dimensional. Put him in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The give is to Miller. Open space at the 25. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. The way this guy is rolling for the tide and ripping off chunks of yardage, reminiscent of Eddie Lacy or real old school from the wishbone days, Wilbur Jackson. And when you run it like this, it's hard to argue with people saying, hey, let's throw the ball, let's throw the ball, let's be explosive. Well, having success early in this game, running the football, getting big first down after first down. Here he goes breaking the pocket. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. End zone. Touchdown, Bama! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Carey. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. 
After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, i got to get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Looking downfield, it's Pavia. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. The Commodores send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. And they'll get off one more play before the end of the quarter. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him, second guy finally did. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to ride this running back. Stuffed almost in his tracks, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll leave it with him. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. To the air, it's Milrow. Firing to the right, complete. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Alabama rolling quickly downfield, set up with another first down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield, it's Miller. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Well, there was really nowhere to go for the quarterback with that football. He's just trying to check it down to his running back, and the defense was there, and they made the play. And here comes the offense on second down. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Quickly complete. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. 
I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC's like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. You can go way back in the history books to the wishbone attack all the way back to the first Rose Bowl team. Alabama builds its identity on a strong running game. Builds it on dudes that tote the rock and do it with nastiness, with some physicality. Not one guy is going to bring them down, and, and you see it year after year with these guys, and there's always somebody that's going to be a physical challenge to try to get on the ground. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short gain. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Finds his target down the middle. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Well, that receiver, he knew he had to get his head turned around quickly. He's running the curl route against zone coverage, but he knows his quarterback is going to be firing that ball into him. It's a rocket pass. He's able to make the catch and get the first. He's looking to pass. He's got it. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. It's really nice when you're an offensive coach and you can basically attack the whole field. When you've got an arm like this and you can just, boom, put it on a line, it's really nice to have that. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. Going to run it. It's Haynes. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense, being able to stay on the field. You're absolutely right, Reese. That was a clinic. Running the ball, playing at great rhythm and pace, QB making good, smart decisions, and not shooting yourselves in the foot. No penalties, no turnovers. It doesn't get any better than that last drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. And the Commodores want to move quickly. Leaves it with the running back. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. in the middle at Skinner. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. 
One of the nice things about RPOs is that it's a slow developing mesh between the QB and running back, and that allows these receivers time to get vertically downfield and work their routes. You saw it right there on that play. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Almost had the completion, just missed it. This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they need to start making plays. They can't keep throwing incompletions this early. Really need positive yards on second down. After the incompletion, they'll snap it from the 44. Here's the handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Pressure coming. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting up field. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. The Commodores will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And no shot at a return here as the punt goes out of bounds. The tied offense rolls onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Running back goes in motion. Caught behind the line. It's Miller. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. You know, this linebacker is a special player because not only is he good making tackles in the open field, this guy can cover. And you saw a great example of it with that running back. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Back to throw. It's Milro feeling some heat. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Slips through the line. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. On the run, it's Alexander. Only a couple there, and now staring at third and eight. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes... You're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Carey. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Looking to pass. It's Pavia. Finds his tight end. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. 
I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Fires to the right. That is just a sideline credit. Roll, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. The give to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow it's second and seven. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Running back searching for a hole. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Looking to throw for it. Going for six. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Vandy. After the score, we'll see if that breathes a little fire into them. And you see it all the time, right? You get that score, you get that energy, the crowd gets involved, and the defense got to get out and get you a stop. But this was step one to getting them back in the ball game. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They made sure that good field position paid off going 45 yards. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes that Alabama offense. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Off the boot, looking for his man. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Well, the problem with the play-action game is that it forces the QB to hold on to the ball just a little bit longer to allow some of these plays to develop. And, of course, that gives this defense longer to get after him. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Looking for a man, it's Milrow. Fires complete on the crosser. And the explosiveness, the big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Alabama with a first and 10 here. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Offense gets set for second down. Off the play fake. 
grab near the marker. It's Prentice. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Going up top on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Love the competitive nature by the defender on that play. That's just a 50-50 ball, and that defender swatted it away. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. He's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Haynes. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. You know, it's funny. I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game. But when you think about it, this guy's been making people miss his entire life taking handoffs. So why wouldn't you try to get him involved in the passing game as well? You just saw in that last play how dangerous he is after the catch. He'll just keep slinging it. Tight end finds a soft spot. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Really nice job there of the quarterback reading coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. This offense is about to face the one thing that can stop it. Time expiring in the first half. Before then, they can get another score. Well, it was a good throw. It was a good route. But it was the hit that forced that incompletion. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Back to throw. It's Milrow. He caught it. He thought he might turn that into a score, but the defense able to wrestle him down short. They'll stop him at the three. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude. Get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Needs to get it in the end zone on third and goal. And it's caught. Touchdown time. Effective offense leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's how you draw it up, right? You want to come out, be clicking early, get everything going. Way to get all the facets rolled. The defense right now on their heels. They have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So they got the touchdown now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Listen, a lot of time, tips and deflections are because you got great eyes and vision on the quarterback. You see him release the football, you break on it, you tip that thing, and make sure the receiver can't get it. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Pavia. Out of the backfield, he's open. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And the Commodores will snap it on first and 10. Grabbed over the middle. It's Skinner. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They're going to stay aggressive here. Five wide on second and one. 
He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Great job by the defense there. They weren't surprised by that play call there on third and short. They were expecting pass. They took everything away and forced the incompletion. The Commodores line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Line gets set, first down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. On the move at the 30. Got a lot of running room. Inside the 30. Ripping off a huge chunk of yardage, and he's got it just outside the 10 at the 11. And it's first down, but they'll try the field goal in the closing seconds of the first half. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. And that is no good. Missed the field goal, missed the chance to make it a three possession game, but still a 14 point lead, guys. That's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. It's first down, but the offense is just going to take a knee and go to the locker room. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, a stirring start to things today in Nashville as we say hello from our broadcast studios. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at First Bank Stadium. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner goes down. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half, so now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. Quarterback on the keeper. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Yeah, and a great job by the defense, holding the line of scrimmage, playing downhill, playing responsibility football, making sure they shut down that option play. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Working the middle, it's complete. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, 
tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. The tied offense rolls onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He leaves it with his back. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. you got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. He lost one down the sideline. Grabs it inside the 10. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. How great is it to have a running back who can basically run your entire route tree? You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, get open, and make a big play. This dude is special. The explosive play set the table. Now they got to serve the feast. He'll do it himself. And he's brought down at the line of scrimmage, and the ball will stay at the two. Can the D deny them on second and goal? They're going to run it. Touchdown, Alabama! And they take it in for six more points. This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably scored pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. 
Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back, it's Pavia. He makes the connection. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. Fires to the wideout. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. And the Commodores will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play just outside the 20. Here comes that Alabama offense. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Used to play fake. Now to throw. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Second and ten after the previous play. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Throwing right. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. That's a really nice job plucking that pass. I don't know if another... And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Looking for room, it's Haynes. Carrying the ball with an edge and hammering his way to the 40. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Finds his big tight end. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And there's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. They'll throw it from the red zone. Looking for the score! Touchdown, Bama! And the stomping has commenced. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business.
Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They marched 78 yards down the field, and they closed the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. Almost ready to kick it. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Takes the handoff. It's Alexander. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. To the air. It's Pavia. Quickly out to the tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Just outstanding execution, continuing to work his way back through the football. Yeah, and everything about this route looks vertical. The comeback, it looks like it's a go. I'm thinking speed, and then he sets it down. QB puts the ball on the money, and he makes the play. Off the play fake on first down. Makes the catch. It's Skinner. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. They go to the draw. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. The Commodores have it with a first and ten. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. It's complete! And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. And the Commodores line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Commodores! Running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Smashes it through for the PAT. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Quickly to the tight end. Oh, it's loose. Oh, and he's able to get it back. Good thing for him. 
Great job by the defense forcing the fumble, but a bad, unfortunate bounce, and the offense pounces back on it. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. They'll go to the ground. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. Finds a tight end. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. How about the patience from this sophomore to hunt that green grass? Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. They'll give it to him again. How about the blow he delivered in banging his way to the 41? It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back, you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. They go to the ground. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. They'll snap it from the 30 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. After that last completion, it's second down. From the gun to give, looking for room. Spins away from the defender. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. The Tide with the first and ten. They'll ride the hot hand. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the ten. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The give to the tailback. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! 
And the pummeling has started. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. Lining up to add another. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Going over the top. And they can't make the connection going for a big play on first down. Well, they take a shot down the field. That's another incompletion. It's really been that kind of story. This defense has made this guy earn it every single play. Really small windows to throw into. One touchdown pass. That's a little bit surprising. You thought maybe they'd have more in this game. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. That pass is incomplete. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. The back goes in motion. Looking to throw, it's Pavian. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. And this has been one of those days you want to forget. I mean, you're getting drummed. There's no other way to put it. It's been a bad day. I'm trying to put a drive together here maybe to just get some kind of momentum, something positive, maybe something in the locker room we can talk about that didn't go wrong. The Commodores decide to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. Looking for a block, it's Bernard. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. From the gun, running back gets the give. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. They'll try the jet sweep to pick up the first down. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. I love when you run this play because it forces the defense to react. Do you want to spin a safety down? Somebody better keep contained. Very hard to defend the jet sweep. It's a very good play, especially when you got somebody with speed taking that handoff. Off play action on first down. Deep shot for the end zone. Touchdown tie. And the beatdown has ensued. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. On to attempt the try. And 
then the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. No shot at a return. It's out of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. First down for this offense. Back to pass. It's Pavia. Gets open down the middle. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Skinner. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. He's going to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Skinner. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. The aerial assault continues. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Went up top on second down. That leaves them needing a yard here on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Unloads it left. Another incompletion on third down. And this offense stays aggressive, and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Couldn't find a ton of room on that return, but that small change, they take over at the 43. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. you got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. Here comes that Alabama offense. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Palmer. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. Here on third down for this offense. Takes the handoff. It's Haynes. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. And he will boom that punt out of bounds. No chance for a return. Let's see where the officials spot it. He'll come out throwing on first down. He looks that one in nicely. 
He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And quarterback dropping back, understanding. I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. That last completion sets him up on second down. Wants to throw. It's Pavia. He makes the grab. Tackled after picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. They're working that left side. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. And the Commodores will line it up on first and ten. He wants to throw. Coming after him. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. He's looking to throw, getting some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And how about this offense, man? It's been a rough day. You're getting beat down. You're trying to find some kind of momentum late in the game to build something off of, and you give up another sack. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. He's got an open man. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Well, this offense is given a lesson right now on how to fight through adversity because first and second down was ugly. But they come up with that huge completion to now set up a manageable fourth down opportunity to keep this drive alive. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. The Commodores pick up the first down. There's 11 guys on offense there, locked in and playing together. That was a critical fourth down in their opponent's territory. Everybody did an outstanding job of executing, and now they get to stay on the field. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle at Stowers. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Give to the running back. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They're trying to eat up some clock here. Ninth play of the drive. It's third and six. Snagged on the outside. It's Stowers. You know, the tight end's going to have to do a better job of separating and giving his quarterback a place to go with the football. That time, just couldn't create it. And as a result, as soon as he made the catch, he was brought to the ground, setting up fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Running for it on fourth down. Dances away again. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Doors! Nice play there by the offense, but still a ton of ground to make up. Yeah, this one's pretty much over, but listen, put that exclamation point up. Finish the way you want to finish. Make sure your offense keeps that momentum going. It can build throughout the season.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Right down the boulevard. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and they finished it off with a 14-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. Play callers love it offensively when you can run the football when the other team knows you're going to do it. That is called imposing your will. And here in the fourth quarter, with the lead, very first play of the drive, you break off a nice run. He might just call the exact same play right again here. Back to pass, it's Milrow. Setting up the screen. Crosses the 30, he's got a lead. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. The run from the shotgun. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Now on the option. And he didn't get the pitch off, and he paid the price. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Finds a soft spot in the middle. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Here comes the offense on second down. Scanning the field, it's Pavia. Quick completion on the out. I'll tell you, QBs and receivers, they practice these out routes all week long, and you've got to anticipate. You've got to be comfortable throwing it before he gets out of his break, and they executed it perfectly right there to pick up that first. Move the chains with that completion now on first down. He's looking to throw it. Got the quick pass. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You gotta throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Now on second down. They keep attacking through the air. Snares it outside, it's Skinner. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. I love how the wide receiver just wasn't lazy on this play because he could have cut that route short, but he knew he had to extend the route to make sure he got that first down and help keep this drive alive. And the Commodores have this offense rolling. To the air on first down, trying to get to it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long, under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. 
on second down. He'll fire. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Good job on defense, getting a hand on it, tipping it up in the air. They weren't able to pick it off, but they do force the incompletion. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Dropping back, it's Pavia. Using his legs to buy some time. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. The Commodores will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. He's got his man. Excellent job working through the air. They're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understanding the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He wants to throw. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. He wants to pass it on second down. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. Back to throw. It's Pavia. Tosses it incomplete. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. Makes a grab at the six-yard line. It's first and goal. You know, you're seeing in college football now with spread offense and tempo and air raid, we're seeing more and more 400-yard days. But I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. And it's so annoying now because all the quick, quick game is so good. And then you take shots. And the hallelujah land. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Nice pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense is struggling, you're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. Getting set for the point after. Right down the middle. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. At this point, a comeback would take one of the biggest miracles in the history of the sport, but they'll line up for the onside kick. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. Here comes that Alabama offense. 
firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with the victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. Hand off from the shotgun. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches.